gates of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Come and listen to the words of wisdom. After listening to it, just join the group and it will help you. And now you may do no, but I had that one at the papa was see. Semi away punk one dear, and you're ready. You may jump at the team for today's program is so sweet. And the team is if I really call myself a good wife, then the Lord is my portion. Amen. Listen, because I want to tell you something. And now, on conclude to me, what I say. Today, the spirit of the Lord is here to teach us something. Listen. 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 There is no single soul in this world who wants to prosper without going through a training. It will never be possible for the Lord to raise you without having a training. If you don't have knowledge about something, it is very difficult to do it well. We married women, the work that we have to do in our marital home is the marriage that we are working in. You go through a lot of counseling during the counseling session before you marry. But after marrying, there are so many things that you have to learn before you become perfect. And there is nothing in marriage that whenever you start marriage, you go through it and nothing, no problem will happen to you. You will never find it that way. Eba worry for you. And you can tell me say, and the Lord has empowered me today to advise you that whatever that you are going through in the marriage, it is the will of God for you to go through that marriage so that at the end of it, when you are going through that training, when you adapt to the training of the marriage, everything will work successful for you. There is no other way to bypass the word of the, uh, the Lord to enjoy your marriage unless you go according to the trend of the word of God. Amen. Jesus be papa. When Jesus came to the world, the world hated him. The other time I told you that as we are sitting here, the Lord too is in the heavens. And all our blessings have been programmed in the hands of other people. Our, our blessings should come through other uh, human beings. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17. And I quoted Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17. 
then if through your fellow human being you can prosper in the world then you should also know that through your fellow human being you can be miserable in the world the devil knows that very well and because of that he can sometimes use other people to trouble you because of that sometimes when the devil is using other people to torment the children of God it doesn't worry God if he say or fasa kwa na so na what they are tell ama we change na kesi ma ma o because he knows that the devil is using that way to train you in a way so that all things shall be well with you it's because of your welfare. We have a certain word called hatred. And the other word of hatred is hating. Yes. And in the saying of that kind, we, ha- we say that it has no remedy. By hating, it passes everything in the world. If you say the tiny day, it will come and be as it. Hatred can just kill people. Now, or tiny day, and the home will be a. But hating is there for everybody. Yes, you cry be as in the eternal. Jesus also was hated when he came to the world. Until now, Jesus is the only one who did any good. That is why Jesus said, when all people love you, then what to you? Amen. Amen. And this is who go round with him. Now we see me dem me power time be ya, me power how be ya. Me dem me power be ma otiti oba. Me dem me power me power how o. Me dem tina me power me one semonoa. Enu ye intro ne be di asa. Then you, when you enter into marriage and just say to yourself, me, I don't want to be trained. I don't want to be molded to a, a man's taste. It has never been written anywhere in the Bible. Let's see what the Bible has written about what I'm telling you. Romans chapter 8 verse 17. Open your Bibles to Romans chapter 8 verse 17. Uh-huh. Roman Fongoma, a tre and watching ye mood do so. Na ye ye ma ah, ye ye adi diffu on so. Nyan coupon adi diffu. Ni Christo, yon con di diffu. Nan so, jis a ye nino huno amani. An sana was a ye nino enimo yambi. Aha. Was a ye a Christo for a di. Yes, we chi. Ah, when you uncle Pan for Yan and Mano Yen Yen Nipa Yen Nipa, who be seen in Namho Keke. The Bible says, We Christians who have been adapted by God, we are not just ordinary people. Was say, Yen Ye dear dear, we are hairs. Was say, and ya sassy suha at the dear in Pobia. Name of a young young Pontia Safo at this year, ye dear dear. Our throne is not on the earth, but we are jointers of God, and our inheritance is in heaven. She obi yawa hene bampo wa sasi swa. She diwe ya wa ye proud and asin eni jena hon. If you look at how the princess and the prince enjoy life on the earth, ne nyango pa di di fo. How much more a child of God? I see. Ye nui enso ye sa ye Christo Yesu Adam fu fo a ye di a di e wo Yesu tu mi mu. And he continued to say that we are friends to God and we have our inheritance in Christ. But he continues to say, who are you at all? Was it ni awutie bia? Se ni wa ho ofetie, wani monyam tie, kokoa tie, tuntumutie. Was just a bi wo ho. Nanso. Ene na e me de no. Nanso bi wo ho. Nanso jise. Ye ni Kristo no huna mane ansa. And the Bible says, who are you? It doesn't matter your beauty, your riches, your glory. The Bible says, unless you crucify yourself with Christ. Before the glory will be seen. Before the glory will be seen. 
Wasaye ni mwenyam. Na wuzo so wuzi wumpa mani ya biya. Midi ya mimpeni yome biya waye ya no. Midi ya wedi ya mintumiu. Sana nse mfumbi ya wastati ya waye ya no. Enonsu ni ya si. Nyamia makwai. Se bonsa mfa unko. Sa treni ni mu. Na wuwa benye ni mwenyam shebi. Na wuzi wumpei. Wuna wuwa beifuwa na wase. Nibusawu. My fellow sisters, I want to ask you, according to the Bible, you have to crucify yourself. You have to suffer before things will be well with you. And you are also tr uh, trying to deny yourself from that suffering. The way that the Lord has assigned demon to take you through a certain training, you are trying to pull yourself out of it. So how can you inherit the blessings of God? First Peter chapter 5 verse 10. Wasi wanuwa sumdiye nya kupo nesiedike una mani ansa. Echidei Obesiye siye yanyi. Na wama ya siye timu. Na wama ya nyina suwa. Chesese we unu sove ya mufa. Wasi timi ntimu. Wenye nyina suwa biya. Eti wasiye timu na wenye nyina suwa no. Enune nyakupo obe mwuse waya den. Na wama utumbi ibi. Na weje nshirebi muamau. First Peter chapter 5 verse 10 says, as a Christian, you have to go through tribulation, temptation, and everything. And after going through all these things, before you will be firm and sounded in Christ. And as you are dodging all these things, how can you carry the crown? Now, to so find chains, I won't pay with over firm one. Just see a dick and one of my nance. First Peter chapter 5 verse 10. Just see a dick and one of my nance. And a Romans chapter 8, verse 17. Was say, Yeah, yeah, ma, yeah, yeah, the default, Yanko, I am Kofa for a this year. Nen so, just any crystal, no one money. Now, one so palm and the uno, and a open empire, and a wotonum, a radi Kenya, where, Mamma Tam for Montreti, a radi Yanko Pokenya, Mamma Tam for Montreti, Yamis Solly, no Ababa Kenya, no, I'm a Tam for Bashitia, who now be Bashiti first. A Tam for be any baby. First Peter chapter 5 verse 10 says, we should pass through temptations. And Romans 8 17 also says, before we can be called children of God and have inheritance with Christ, we have to pass through tribulations. And you are dodging it. And you always pray, Lord, scatter my enemies, scatter my enemies. Where are the enemies? When the Lord comes to scatter them, you will be the very person to be scattered. So our time we Eye watay biya, wia si, edi ten ni pe ni wasa si so. Eye watay biya, wia si di ka di tan, Jesus, e ni ansa. Ne nyanku pa onso suwa dana ni se, watay ya, wia si di tan ye ni no. O de prepare ye in. Anasa wa de titi ye in. Na wabe maye in shirake siya e di mo. Wano obon sam, e tan ye ni, e pesen kwe di ye ni no. Nyanku pa onso wa de isi esi ye ye in. Na wabe shira ye in. No be my ye can see it. I'm a what and no 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 sooner you see and tears it. This kind of hatred is not my hatred, which Jesus himself even went through. So as a Christian, if the Lord allows the devil to take you through all this, so that you'll be shopping and brightened, and you tell yourself that you could never go through this, then how? How can you enjoy life and the blessings? Amen. Amen. Nyanku pa wa tesro. Was this over for Jesus? Where should I wa? I just say, we ask the time when he answer. If you say, Jesus, or kwa kwa jine ni mo nyam, abote deno. We ask the time ni. It is a usu we eje. Say, we die, debi, 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 debi. Midi amen. Debi, debi, debi. Yem fansi mwen fa meni kosu yasu. Na wo pa achira wun se, we change Jesus. Our Lord in heaven said, before you be blessed through Jesus Christ, you have to allow yourself for the world to hate you. And you try to dodge it, it will never be possible for you to be blessed. Let's see what Jesus told the disciples. John chapter 15, verse 17 to 21. John chapter 15, verse 17 to 21. Yohani, etre edunum, enyi yimu dunsun. We na me shemon, se mono domo hon. Yesu, etu Yes, we are day. Nay, bet ye and Shakura, what the two Nessia for the Susa. Jesus commanded the disciples to do something. So let's see what the, what type of commandment was given to them. When I mean Shamu, sir, Monodomo, 
Say we are see time one. Uh huh. Who say what time it can be? Uh huh. And Sana a real time mo. Hey, Sana you should catch an issue of one. What did Jesus tell the disciples? Me ko. Me dey ma baye meju me we me kwaji me kunu me dey abo tiri. Na say me ko. Na bu ye meju ma. Na say we are see. Esha si a say time one. Still, Munku Tamu Dum, Namundo Domoho. Nedi Kaitan, Mimeni, and San Ebe Day. Jesus commanded the disciples and said, I'm leaving the word of God behind you. So you are going to take my mantle. And as I was hated by the world, the same thing you also be hated. Amen. Amen. Kurawu Dum, Ewa Baby, our Wabi and Pempens, where do Pia? Dwan, the Dukunuati. Kurawu do ni mu menye mu da. Wasi wa da na mwono do mwono. Ni pa ma be ta me sunya fwoye ni. Ti ese me sha asye. E chile wa madie wei. Wei me sha mo. Ase mo wase wa yedai. Me sha mo. Wa anfan sha antu wa mwono. Omu ntu mi e njine ni pata yi mo. Ampasu yesu uye. E ta ye sunya fwoye ni vee mo. Hey. Omu jina wa kwa nwa nkasa. Jesus commanded the disciples and said, It is likely that I will go. And as I go, hold on fast to the love that you have in your marriage, so that all things will be well for you. And truly, when Jesus died, the disciples were going through a lot of hatred. Sometimes you are not being hated just because you are a sinner, but we are in the world, so the world has to hate us. I say it's not because of your sin. Obi waha na be me ma yani dey na di ekura na osi ma ye be me ma mi yon papa kure ni yani fe mi di di ba kure ni mi di chira wale kanga we di mi ba be jaimpo. Men ya wa we ya a we ya bibi ba ya me e di e kwa na o se ma ye o be ti de ka so sa o be ka ka ya ka ka o me se enye boni bi na wa ye o e ye wi ase tan sometimes married women will be complaining what at all have i done to my husband look at the services that i'm giving him and yes so he doesn't praise me you'll be remembering and complaining my sister i'm encouraging you and telling you that not because you have sinned but it is normal that every Christian who is in the world should go through. Because you are not from the world. Because you are not from the world. The good services that you are giving to your husband, because it is not something on the earth, people on the earth will hate it. And they will just use your husband, your own husband, to hate you. So that, so that you also be discouraged and stop the good words that you are doing. And quench the love for your husband. Never quench your love. Nasamufriasia <laughs> And I will your back was the end of my dear. Cassette, my bepampa, Cobesso Sonny, I will your so. Say ye. Now say, we are what you repay. Now where you were free, we are seeing you, ma'am. Now when you bear many dinner ye, there were you winning our donunty. Now dear say, we are see between me at dog. We are seeing nobody. Now what time when you. It is likely that the world will hate you because the way you are serving uh, your husband, the world hates it. So it is likely that they will use your own husband to hate you. But when it comes like that, you should never quench the love. Go on with the services, and the Lord God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Munkai asama me kachira mo se akwa nsini niura sawata miya obeta monso mote yesu si se. Yes, we say, 
akoa wetin me nsini wura se wata me jesus ya obeta monso jesus also said a servant can never be greater than the master so whatever that the master went through it is possible that you the servant you too have to go through the same thing it is a wura wa wiem na wo exams na se nie ma kakra bi state papa ye na wo ye no wo ye wadwen se wo sesa pe na ye nya me ja na wadwen se wo wo mpese wo be fa sa wo tan ni mu na wa ye wo kese ye nti wo mfata kese ye sa na nya me adwen ye no so when you start going through the marriage training and you become discouraged and just yes, me god will also be worried because it is normal for him that is what he has done that it is normal for every married woman to go through that so when you become memorying and complaining it will hate god also amen amen we nyina no we yie yo enti na nyankopon ma kwan e ma satan fa ukunu so ana wakuma bi so wasi bi so e ma sa na e ma ne ba so e meku e megu wani mase da na entumi so mese wo da e ye ntete ye na e betete wo ama wa ye den ne nyame ama hu shira kesie bi e ye no ntia so when you are going through hatred take it normal even if your uh, sister in law your mother in law your friend or even the husband himself is trying to disturb you just take it normal and know that it is the way of the lord to train you so that you become equipped and after being equipped you enjoy the blessings of the marriage amen amen yes yeah, romans romans chapter 5 verse 4 to 5 open your bibles to romans chapter 5 verse 4 to 5 romans for anguma etinum nyiyimu nan ekosi enum na boase to de osuahunu ba se wutu boase wa wa wiemu adede e na brewo suahunu ma wusua ne ma bi when you become so patient and humble in the marriage you learn a lot of things and you become knowledgeable ba to yenko na osuahunu de enida so ba eh mo na wusua de na wuhuna de no wani da so na e ba no and it does will be when you meet more than you must be be brave the more you become knowledgeable in the marriage that knowledgeable will bring you hope in the marriage but you enter any immunum na any daso an she ni wo aha e free say wonam hon konkona wode amayen so ehwie onyankopon do eguye na komam eguye akomam when it does wanna ah when it den yankopon so a wonim say nyame be shira wono wase enya wodai enhye wani wo da wani ngu wani mu ngu ase da the hope that you have in god and serving your husband that hope that you have will never bring you to a disgrace what can i say be was every say won na won kokutu mi so hwe nyankopon do ayedai eguye mu na ase kire ne say wo odo na holy spirit dia tena wo mu no wo da so do wo kunu no nti nya ade se wani mayedai e be gu ase da He also said God has put the Holy Spirit on you and because of the Holy Spirit it has equipped you so the hope that you have will never bring you a disgrace Nyame unkukru to me unu mate wu mu no eno ene de wodo kese atena wu mu a de wase eye de wakuma eye wa wodi wani ato nyame so se eye suya hunu bi timani de nyame so se emese me emeku me emegu me ni mase eye nyame na ebe shira mentia eti saade no eh me si nyame be shira o ama wa ye nshira o be peja wa wa we no de na wo kunu nsan to me ko be ma won nsa aka abe bi aso so me si o ma ba be ye nipa kesefo o amen because the holy ghost has edified you and you are going through that temptation even though it doesn't matter what your in-laws will do to you when you stand firm and just hope that it shall be well with me truly it shall be well with you on say say what time we are make one say we die ya chiro say say make kan kan chiro say e bi wo ba bi ana yesu kra ye dey awari e bi a to kwa ye dey awari e bi a what time so ye dey and no so na e be ye wo dey e be ye wo kese ye This kind of hatred that I'm talking about is normal in every marriage. Every marriage has to go through that kind of hatred. But if you stand firm, it will help you. Nemum, ye wo meme bi wo ha. 
But there are certain men who have a very bad spirit. That kind of spirit is called hatred spirit. That man can hate you to the extent that you can even commit suicide. He can even hate you to the point of death. He can even hate you for you to be disgraced before a man. Some a men use humanizing to uh, hate their wives. Some of the men are miser and they, they don't care about how, how to care for their wives. But when they go outside, they give arms. When they say, we are mobile, we need to be a because they know that you don't have anyone to tell your problem to. That is why they take you through all these problems. So even though you will be taken through all this kind of hatred, but as a child of God, the man will take you through all this sin, but you will never be disgraced. Rather, the man will die and leave you behind. Let me tell you what kind of thing happens to those men. God will use the virtuous woman, the work and the services of the virtuous woman to kill a man who doesn't love the wife. And it can bring so many problems in your life. Sometimes it can even lead a man into sickness. He can be bedridden. And God will bless the woman so much that he will become the breadwinner of the family. Sometimes those men die premature death. And before they die, they have a will for their children and their wife. So later, the women and their children will enjoy their inheritance. Sometimes the Lord will just push the bad man from the virtuous woman so that when they go, the woman too will marry. And before the man realizes and comes back, another man has married the virtuous woman. So any man who will hate a virtuous and a good woman, that man should be very careful. Because the training that he is taking you through will never kill you, it will never disgrace you, and it will never harm you in any way. It will rather kill him himself. Because you have a genuine spirit, a loving one. Because of that, you cannot be killed. The one that you have given your genuine love to him will rather die. He will just die. First John, first John chapter 3, verse 13. Open your Bibles to First John chapter three verse thirteen. Yohani nguma edi kai eti mi ensa eni yimu edu mi ensa eni anom wiasi time mo mo mano ni mo ngwa yendi e ni mse e chwe mo efri wo wo mo kwa ngwem efri se e do eni anom. What e se obi eta wenia wasi mane ni wode i ngwa ngwa e mane ni asembi e ngwa ngwa na wo. Did you hear that? The Bible says if someone hates you, you shouldn't be surprised about it. Don't fear it because you have passed from death to life. Someone 
Why have you passed from death to life? Just because you, you, you have love. Aha, uh-huh. I Dear only don't to a womb. Aha. Dear only don't want to die. To a womb. Oh, be a one need don't know what to Dear water, when in a only don't swap it down. What did one need do? No, I know what to say. Oh, well, where we are crowned on an amour. The bear may be a with diddy irony. Bear may be an area with power with dinner in the town. Oh, what you're moving from go home. Well, what do you want to do? Before I say, we will know I will, dear ma, or you don't know. He who hates the wife is in death, and the woman, because you love, the Lord will always sustain you. But the man who hates the wife will rather die. Uh-huh. And you must do no more. Be a or turn in your new or would you for? Ah, now when you say down quarantine or would you for be a remote idea? It is a way a bear man would do a repair near. We are within it. It's a damn quasi so dear. Any day. And now, different. He who loves evil will rather die, but he who loves good and loves their family will rather live. So, who person who in Tama will be our donor? Yeah, for some corner. And you, if you want to live longer, make sure you don't treat the one who loves you. A woman who fears God, you shouldn't treat her badly. Anyone who fears Lord and has love is a property of God. No matter how you treat that person, that person will not be disgraced. God will protect her or him. The Lord also is your portion. Amen. Amen. Why you repam for one no more be da? Says any me pray. Beme Marie or Bama Maya Quasia. As a virtuous woman, you should never say that. Look at the way I'm suffering in this life. If I don't take care, the man will take me as a foolish. Quasia Bunquan will boom me. And he will just be cheating me all the time. She, I tell you for the chicha, Chenkro for one bunting. Look at how he has been giving gifts to other women outside. Sometimes he cares for the siblings, the nephew, the nieces, the mother, and the sisters. And when he gets money, he just spends outside. If I don't take it, I will become a foolish woman later. A virtuous woman will never be a foolish. But you should know that the Lord is your portion. The Lord is your portion. And you, your thought will never be in vain. No matter how you struggle, it shall be well with you. In all things, your children will be great, great, great children. I've never seen any virtuous woman who have been disgraced before. I've Moses, any Ninia Aaron. So Omunko Mizrim. Na Omkoi Israel mind free ho. Because Omugun kwa so more bread. Or my bra bra bring to atiti woman we have your messen kwa as as papa sunun kwishra omo. God commanded Aaron and Moses one day to go and bring the Israelites from Egypt because they were going through affliction. And then Radin Yanko Pa promised Abraham say. As I said no one. What did Abraham family air kosono? God also promised them an inheritance which was the land that he is taking them through will be their portion. God promised them that that land will be given to the descendants of Abraham. But he never excluded any of them. But after them toiling on the way from Egypt to Israel, look at what God told them. Numbers chapter 18, verse 20. Numbers chapter 18, verse 20. Mo se atoso nai. Aha. Eti du ngoche, enyi yimu ediyonu. Ne erade kachire Aaron se, wanasa asinu bina uri niye. Eradicate Aaron say 
afa o be cha asase no o mudru bo she asase de so no e rade ka che eron say ni bidja when they reached the promised land god told eron that you will never enjoy the fruit of that land yen kwai na wo nya che fa biara wo won mu eh what is say wo nya che fa biara wo won mu brebe brebe o bre ye no ai e di enti no se o mani ni di subi Let's see why God said he will never let them enjoy the fruit of that land. Did you hear God said they will never get any part of the land after going through all these things? Twaso. Me ne wo chefa ni wo agapade Israel mu. What eh? But I ain't here. Everybody catch Aaron. Say won ka ho. Ye nche bi ma won ni di subi. Won ne wo ma nyina. Mi eurade, wa japa de aneme, wo chefa aneme. Did you hear the reason why God told Aaron that he would never enjoy the fruit of that land? And the Lord said, "You are my inheritance." Oh. Nyankopon nya dwemboni fa ni pa ho ate. The Lord is not so wicked about human beings. Aaron anka se eurade aden aden ne brebe brebe ama bre e dru mre bi po israel for the precious e papa isu sa e ma papa yi e ro ro mo nsu ma de na o mu chains e ko ye we bo som e kra mo bo som no papa yi bre 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 o be dru asase ne so a wa na ni tuya se sika koko na wo yi de eni pe ni tuya pa wo ya brade wo se wo ma no ade ntia wo se me me ye wo chefa wa japa de ene me Aaron never complained to God that Lord, look at the toil that I tore on the way. Even sometimes it came to the point that I have to command the women to remove their earrings for me to make an image to serve them. And after going through all these afflictions and toil, you are telling me that I will never inherit the part of the land. But after all, he also thought that the Lord is his portion. San eni eni pe bi muti e wa asasi so. That is how say Aaron wa asasi so. That is how some people are on the earth. They are like Aaron. Eh ya mo se ni pe bi bu mu kwase ya. Sometimes you think that people are cheating you. Eh ya mo se mu kunu mu bu mu kwase ya. You you think that your husband is cheating on you. Eh ya yen se ye kunu mu bu ye kwase ya. You even think that your husband has taken you for granted. Eh ya yen se ye che ni o me bi jaye. You think that your husband is sharing the properties without you. I sorry them mpo ye wo se e bi nu mu nyen sire jawo. Sometimes you even think that even in the church uh, hall some people are receiving their blessings and leaving you behind. There are certain things coming in your life. Eso. They are bigger. Me Aaron sira no. Eya me feche Israel for ni nyina sira. I like the blessings of Aaron more than any other blessing that was given to the Israelites. We sira no so. Your blessing is so big. We are a chosen person. You are a chosen vessel. And your bear man in the book was here. It is not a man who is cheating on you. We japa di any bear man in sem. Your properties are not in the hands of the man. E rade ni we japa di. The Lord is your portion. E be do me re bi. A time will come. And ye me bi a obe yaba wono. Certain things are he going to give you. E so so. They will be big. And ti asie nim. And it will marvel you. E di e what is so wonderful in the part of Aaron to be seen that the Lord has said Aaron you 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 are my portion na Abraham so was as is no 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 so what he say be was as is so Abraham too was like Aaron on the earth na Abraham e rade na ye de japade ye the Lord was the portion of Abraham Abraham yakopon fr Abraham so on fr na busuam na onko baabi obeche no onko shira no no na onko baabi a onnim ho baabi a hwi ni when the lord told abraham to leave his family and go to a far country he didn't know what he was going to do and he didn't know what he was going to get na hwi ni ho there was nothing there and so rather so onko no onko shira but the lord said go i will bless you there abraham ni papa tyler me si na hia no na ne ho so nchire no abraham's father tyler was a needing man and so was it through papa bush yen me na japade ne ho ko but yes so god commanded abraham to leave that family and go to a the far country which he said everybody na abraham japade ntia those shows that the lord was a portion of abraham ne papa japade ne no won ka ho 
The inheritance of the father, he was not part of it. Abraham, papa, ja, pa, de, no, anka, he wasn't part of the inheritance of the father. The same thing. The same thing. To David. And I call David is so. David didn't so. Nani, papa, ja, pa, de, no, anka, David too was not part of the inheritance of the father. David, the papa, had the name David The father of David was a rich man. He gave birth to so many sons and took them to schools. And some became uh, soldiers and captains. But David was never taken to school. And what worries me that he was taken to the bush to become a shepherd and look for uh, sheep. It was his own father who sent him there. Because he wasn't part of that family. Because the Lord was his portion. When he was in the bush, he said to himself, the Lord is my shepherd. Nothing, nothing is needed. The Lord has made me to dwell in this area. The bush that I live, it is a, a, a stream of water that I'm living. The place that I'm living. The Lord has comforted me. As I live here, I fear no evil because of the name of the Lord. Because the Lord is my inheritance. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. And all the days of my life, I will dwell in the house of the Lord. And truly, truly, President. The Lord took him from that place and made him a king. You are also like Aaron. Let people hate you. Let people hate you. And so wickedness to you. Whether your husband, no matter who the person is, it will never disgrace you. It will never disgrace you. But it rather make you a big person. For your children to, to become big people. If you are a virtuous woman, then I tell you that the Lord is your portion. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 14. Bible, so Proverbs chapter 24, verse 14. Uh -huh. And some way, you was in the who sorry about the day, Nyansa for Maukra, if you said the I want to tell you that this has been sent from God for me to tell you that. When you live as a woman being, use this word, follow it as wisdom words. Why should we take those as wisdom words for our soul? Uh -huh. Hey, niya chira wano. Se wuhu pa na ufa. Wasi me kancho sa suake tuya be yedai. Be badachi. Be mama wadachi. What I'm teaching you, if you take it and you work with it, you profit with it. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. When you take it, when you take it, when you take it, when you take it, you will never cut off the hope that you have. see, Abigail, the husband of Abigail was a very wicked man. Na Bible no e troy pa se na we ni pabone fo. Even the Bible said a category that he was a very wicked person, a fool. Na mama kan cho se na Abigail so so we ye Aaron be was as is so. And Abigail too was like Aaron on the earth. Abigail kru tin mo den den ni ni pabone nyina chi. Me se mama no na we ye papa e ye adoye. E po David be kunu no. Mama ni ko shea David. Even though Naba was a very wicked man, but Abigail never treated him bad, even to the point of that when David was about to kill the husband, he, she tried to save the life of that man. Jesus Christ. 
e kwa ye be fa so a ukunu be firi ho ama wanya kunu papa no ewrade nanim because of the wickedness of naba god allowed the spirit of death to just strike him one day and he died so as you are a virtuous woman the lord himself will allow the spirit of death to strike your wicked husband and you will be free me say ewrade nyankopon mo wo bo fo be bo papa ne firi ho e wa na onya me ho bo wura david me say kai oba we me ma ne nya kuna da e wa na okopeja no na oba we oba ye president yere if you say ewrade nyankopon ene ne chapade ye Because of the wicked conscience of Nabal, when the spirit of death struck him to death, David also saw that no, this woman is a virtuous woman, so I have to go and marry that woman. So David came and married uh, Abigail. Nipa bebre ya wasa si su ye chosen person. There are so many people on this earth who are chosen people. Ye wo nipa bebre wasa si su ya Awurde Nyankopon aye ye ti se Aaron. We have so many people on this earth who have been made like Aaron. The Lord is our portion. The Lord is our inheritance. Some are pastors. Singers. So many of us. Some married couples are also included. The Lord is our portion. But we don't know. Because the husband has uh, not gone for a shop for her. Because the husband has not given her a huge money as capital. The husband has not put up a building for her. The husband has not opened a factory or a certain job for her. She always thinks, oh, for me, I would die with those wicked conscience from my husband. But it's not like that. Because of you, the Lord is going to bless that marriage. You've not finished with the exams. There are tolls in it. What time be wom? Hatred in it. Unyam fam unwie. You've not gone through all those things. Sa ufam wie say the Christ of fam wie ye no. When you pass through all those things as Christ also did. Obobo nkunu mabotire. You will be crowned with the victory. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30. Wasi wo so wa ye na da won fa ye hu die. Na oba wo suru awrade na awrade be yi na ye. The Bible says beauty is vain but a woman who fears the Lord the Lord will crown him. Who can verse 31 I will say mumma no nsa no ababini na munyi na ye woni kuropunu mu na wuchi say a time be be ba wo fa mu nyina no Awurde Nyankopon be bo wa ba so no ye dey wa yi wa ye e wo kuropunu mu na wo ma wo nsa no oba no aso abapa say wo amira wo need da When you read verse 31 the Bible says let that woman let that virtuous woman enjoy the fruit of her work so that she will be crowned before men in the cities but if you try to dodge it you will never enjoy it you will never be crowned so work when you work you will be crowned We are Aaron be was as you are like Aaron So what you are here pan kwa dia If you are a virtuous woman Then the Lord is your portion And the aha And the day in church will be seen. Today, ba, ba, here ba, is ba, where ba, we bring ba, ba, the ba, end ba, of the ba, program. Ba, ba.
Acapella. 